The Statue of Liberty enlightening the world was a gift of friendship from the people of France to the United States and is recognized as a universal symbol of freedom and democracy. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated on October 28, 1886. It was designated as a national monument in 1924. Employees of the National Park Service have been caring for the colossal copper statue since The Statue of Liberty, officially known as Liberty Enlightening the World, is a colossal neoclassical sculpture on Liberty Island in New York Harbor within New York City in the United States. The copper statue, a gift from the people of France to the people of the United States, was designed by French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi and its metal framework was built by Gustave Eiffel. The statue was dedicated on October 28, 1886.
the statue is a figure of Levertas, a robed Roman liberty goddess. She holds a torch above her head with her right hand, and in her left hand carries a tabula and sara, inscribed July 4, 1776, and Roman numerals. The date of the U.S. Declaration of Independence. A broken shackle and chain lie at her feet as she walks forward, commemorating the recent national abolition of slavery. After its dedication, the statue became an icon of freedom and of the United States, seen as a symbol of welcome to immigrants arriving by sea. Bartholdi was inspired by a French law professor and politician, Edouard René de la Bolaye, who is said to have commented in 1865 that any monument raised to U.S. independence would properly be a joint project by the U.S. and U French peoples. The Franco Prussian War delayed progress until 1875 when la Bolaye proposed that the French finance the statue and the U.S. provide the site and build the pedestal. Bartholdi completed the head and the torch-bearing arm before the statue was poorly designed, and these pieces were exhibited for publicity at international exposition.
The torch-bearing arm was displayed at the Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia in 1876, and in Madison Square Park in Manhattan from 1876 to 1882. Fundraising proved difficult, especially for the Americans, and by 1885, work on the pedestal was threatened by lack of funds. Publisher Joseph Politcher of the New York World started a drive for donation to finish the project and attracted more than 120,000 contributors, most of whom gave less than a dollar. The statue was built in France, shipped overseas in crates, and assembled on the completed pedestal on what was then called Bidlow's Island. The statue's completion was marked by New York's first take a tip parade and a dedication ceremony presided over by President Grover Cleveland. Prior to 1855, immigrants arriving at the Port of New York were free to enter the United States if their vessel was checked and cleared for all lutsam and contagious diseases. Between 1855 and 1890, approximately 8 million new immigrants traveling to the Port of New York were formally processed at the Castle Garden and Battery Park by New York State immigration officials. After 1890, the federal government assumed responsibility for processing immigrants, all third class and storage passengers bound for the Port of New York were required to be inspected at the Ellis Island Immigration Station, where more than 12 million hopeful immigrants were processed between 1892 to 18 to 1954.
The statue of Liberty's pedestal sits atop the remains of Fort Wood, originally one link in a chain of defenses protecting New York City and its vital harbor. The fort was built between 1808 and 1811 in the shape of an 11 pointed star and was occupied by the War Department as an army post until 1937. The 11 pointed star design was brought to North America by French military engineers in the 17th century. The port acted as a lookout position with harbor guns entrenched near the shore. Many incised markings, believed to be Masonic symbols, have been found on its granite exterior walls and the surrounding lawn. Roughly the height of a 10-story building, the tremendous structure rests on a huge country foundation that is anchored to surrounding fort wood. The concrete foundation was once exposed but now is enclosed by a museum. As I pause here, I hope you enjoy our ride. Don't forget to watch my next episode and please hit the red subscribe button below for it means so much for me. Until next time, thank you so much.